We welcome you back to In Focus. Now, at the edge of Nairobi National Park sits Kitengela Glass, where, par where artisans make internationally renowned vases, goblets, pitchers, and other glassworks. They, are re they use recycled materials to make their creations and work in a compound where people, animals, trees, and art all coexist. Kathy Maitany has that story. A magical fairyland where houses are dragons, mosaic pathways lead to mysterious nooks and crannies, and all manner of creatures are fast friends. Welcome to Kitengala Glass. Here, 75 artisans create lampshades, goblets, beaded curtains, even hats made from old beer cans. Artisan Millicent McKenna. When I learn how to cut glass, I can draw, I can make a bird, an animal like a lion, a frog. If you learn how to cut glass, you learn a lot, so I am told to cut an image of a fish. I can do it and go to the next level. Kitengela artisans use traditional glass blowing methods. First, the glass blower gathers a blob of liquid gas from inside the oven. The glass is very hot, 1,100 degrees centigrade. He then expands the blob by blowing into it and shapes it into whatever he wishes. A punty, a steel rod with a small glass blob, aids the production. Finishing touches are added and voila, all ready for the dining room table. Joseph Gidinji Kiboy is training to become a glass blower. Something I have never seen before. I just used them to see on the videos, on pictures, but now I can work, I can make something of the sort. Where I have to imagine, after imagining a design, and then the materials are available, I produce what I have, imag I have imagined. And then it is accepted by customers who come here to visit us. Elsewhere at Kitengela Glass, artisans create mosaics from thick glass blocks and fashion stained glass windows, lamps, and other objects. Nanny Crows founded Kitengela Glass after coming to Kenya 30 years ago from Germany. She says the compound itself is her work of art. It's letting people know what they can do with an environment, how beautiful you can make it, that it doesn't have to be square, and please, no straight lines, and I'm not alone with this. Nothing is wasted. Artisans collect and use recycled glass, cans, scrap metal, and other waste materials. And not just to make art. We run our biogas with cow dung and a bit of water, and it works. I run the um, soldering irons with it. I cook, the, uh, I cook food with just our biogas, and it works very nicely. And I have a wonderful green shamba garden now because of it because of the effluence of the biogas afterwards. And uh, we have a windmill and I have solar. Crows is a muralist by profession. She says everything within the compound encourages creativity. Everybody has to go around with a pencil and, uh, and a paper pad. And if anything comes to mind, you need to write it down or draw it or sketch it or um, for the ideas that are continually bombarding our brains. So we should really um, not forget them and uh, only a very small portion of what we actually think and conceive gets to be made because there's so much out there that we just don't have enough hands, heads, time. Kitengela glass products are sold in different parts of East Africa, with some being shipped to Europe and North America. Kathy Maitney for VOA News, Nairobi.